What is going on all you beautiful people of the world? My name is Ash and welcome to Death and Taxes. I saw this game a long time ago. I thought it looked kind of cool and I just picked it up. Oh, okay. This is like a little uh, slideshow here. Fate, Keeper of World Order. He's uh, missing some lemons apparently. Okay, we'll do this. Alright, out he goes. He does the classic uh, walk there. Going to his market to get his uh, precious lemons. Apparently he saw someone that uh, didn't appeal to him very much. He uses his wizardly lemons to revive the Grim Reaper, which is us. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife? No, I want to swap my dude. Alright, he's got some good choices here. I think we'll go with the bright, discolored one. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with this guy. Good old happy Grim Reaper. Let's do it. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn, uh, hang on. Spawn number four, seven. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Hello, a pleasure to meet you, fate. Oh. A polite Grim Reaper for a change. This is a good start. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, Try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Okay, whatever you say, boss. Delightful. I appreciate solid work ethics and a dedication to the craft. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. I was born to do this. Yes, you were. Literally. I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. All right, my instructions for the day, the marker of death. Better pick it up and start making some files. Well, welcome Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations with your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for the day. One human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. Okay. Who do we have here? We got Kayo Akihito. Kayo has lived in four different countries, finally settling down at the Sun County Wine Region, where they now visit at a... Vida Culturists. Don't know what that is. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit often. Alright, can I see the other guy though? Alright, there we go. 
Gunther Ferlich. More often than not, Gunther finds themselves finds themselves in dangerous situations due to their curious nature and profession. They haven't had a chance to build a family because of their risky life choices, but hope to settle down eventually. At the moment, they're undercover, working for a minor drug lord, trying to expose corrupt police. Okay, so basically we have like a family man and a guy that's undercover trying to help the world of uh, somewhat bad people. Okay. Man, that's... This kind of sucks already. This guy's a little younger. It seems like he has somewhat of a better purpose, but I feel like that doesn't really justify who I should kill. This guy's running a little old for what he's doing. I guess we'll, uh... We'll do this. Yes. Hopefully this man, uh, ends up finding some bad people. Bad cops, anyway. Alright. So that's it. What do we have in here? I think we have to fax these out now? Yes. Cool. Okay. Okay, we also control the elevator. That's kind of cool. A little uh, goofy looking. Where do I go? Okay. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? It was really good. Great. We are counting on your dedication. You do important work, after all. Why, thank you. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? The best? There are only two options. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I did, I guess. To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. There was no best. Choice. I should have gone with the first one. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question? Uh, nope. I'm ready for anything. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines, and keep up the good work. Thank you. I don't know why. A new day awaits. Off you go now. I don't know why Fade is associated with Yellow, and so is his cat. But... Yeah, I guess we'll end the day. We're made out of lemons, so maybe Fate just has a thing for lemons, apparently. There they are. I assume there's supposed to be a colored room. There we go. Alright, the rules. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. I am handing you another simple task. Okay, so we got one human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Okay. What do we got? So I think it's bottom to top. Death of Vito Culturist drastically lowers the overall quantity of wines from Sun County. I guess wine's not that important, so that's not too bad. Weeding out bad cops and planting a bright future for our town. An expose on corrupt law enforcement. Okay, so it looks like he was able to uh, do a little bit there. I feel like we made the proper choice. We'll close that. Who do we got? Shannon Green, 27, unemployed. Shannon is a squatter and dumpster diver who likes to renovate old buildings in order to live in them with friends. They travel a lot by train and manage a community garden. So we only have a guideline for one person today. Sifiso Ike? Sifiso constructs buildings, not much else to it. They try their best to manage balance between the demands of the clients and the experimental ideas of architects. In their spare time, they like carving small sculptures. Alright. And then we have Kamala 
Altamont. 36. Robotics Engineer. Kamala has been into robotics ever since their parents gifted them a mechanical construction set from their 7th birthday. They used to work at the Space Exploration Agency, designing robot rovers to be sent to other planets. They are an avid fan of violent action films. Alright, she seems pretty important. She's still pretty young as well. So we'll leave that there. Um... Since this guy is more of like a architecture person, I feel like that's a little more dangerous. So we're gonna commit that guy to the uh, the death toll there. And we only need one person to die, so we'll just throw that out there for now. And we'll call it there. Let's do it. I should have checked my shelves. My uh, little cubbies. Oh well. Oh, let's go report to good old fate. Grim, how was the second day on the job? That was meh. You do not seem to be enjoying yourself. No matter. It will pick up. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work, and do not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Alright, bye. Bye, Fate. Okay, I want to kind of see if there's like any other places that are uh, colored differently. Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Exp Emporium. What ho! Oh, hello. Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I am Mortimer, the Mortimer, the one you may have heard of. I. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster. Okay. The Mortimer. The Mortimer, in honor to meet such a legend. I, tis me, terror of the way. I may have grown most humble with age, but tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Can I buy stuff I, here? You're visiting me ultimate dream, the Emporium. Browse at your will. Okay. It looks like we have zero uh, coins here, but that's good to know that's down here for uh, future purposes and there can be other places we can visit instead of just going to our room in the office and uh, Fate's office. So let's go to day three. Poor Grim. Morning Grim, a new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here's another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles and send them to me by fax. Two humans have to die, and we're getting a lot more people now. Okay, tomorrow science. Intense debates ensue as freelance engineers unveils custom designed combat robots with extensive weapon attachments. That does not actually sound that good. The Daily Moon is the forest haunted by witches, creepy little wooden statues found all across nearby woods. Hmm. I thought we killed that guy though. I guess they uh, didn't like the fact that he's dead. Oh well. So we got Leo Bojarski, totally butchering that, age 67 politician. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time, they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. That guy seems like a good candidate. We got Hiwot Aliyalawe. Hiwot grew up physically very active, and they've always loved danger and safety in equal measures. This is why they decided to pursue a career in film stunts. 
Recently, they were hired as a stunt double for a famous film star in an upcoming action blockbuster. Okay, that guy sounds fine. We got Takahiro Nagai, 44 golfer. Takahiro loves hitting a tiny ball with a stick. There's no doubt about it. Just whack that tiny ball real hard and see where it lands. Sometimes it even lands where it's supposed to. Oftentimes not. It doesn't matter as Takahiro always loves refreshing walks and searching for things. That guy seems normal. Do we have anything weird in here? Nope. Alright, we got Sahira Al Zafari, 40 bus driver. Sahira is a downtown bus driver. They are pulling double shifts to save money for opening a small vegan muffin shop. They can barely make it to the bathroom or eat during their breaks. When they get home, they collapse in exhaustion. Alright, that person might be a good candidate. The exhaustions may be taking them over. We got Columba Hunter, 47, airplane pilot. Columba is a distinguished war veteran, these days working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Okay, I think we have our couple here. So we're gonna assume that the exhaustion took them over. And then... We'll do this guy. We'll just leave that there. And then everyone else gets to live. That man just likes to golf. Whatever. And then this guy's just... This guy could possibly as well, because he's a... Airplane pilot, maybe there was some kind of accident or something, but, uh... I don't make the story. Uh, yep. Let's do it. And back up we go. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Eh, uh, I'm fine, more or less. Good. One has to focus on their tasks and avoid needless emotionality. It helps maintain composure in our stressful line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right, everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Okay, Grim, about your payment, which I may have forgotten about earlier. I was supposed to get paid this whole time? Yes, an unfortunate uh, oversight. Worry not, you will be getting back pay for the missing days. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is executed correctly. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. All right, bye. Hopefully we can get a good pay. Ooh, 900. All right, I think that's enough to buy something in... Uh... Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. And it looks like the items do cycle every now and then. Cactus, the most brutal of plants. Ethereal resonator. This resonator collects accelerated electromagnetic waves. No idea what these are supposed to do. I'll buy the wow, the cactuses. Very cheap. Let's buy this. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since you wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown. And I saw this in an elevator. Went in. Tore it out and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob. 
and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Okay. And let's buy a cact. Oh, I can't buy a cactus. That is very expensive. All right, up we go. Oh, what is that? Uh, I guess we'll have to check tomorrow, but it looks like we got something for Mortimer. Oh, he probably put in our item for us, I guess. Oh, nice. What is this? Okay. Grim. Have you looked outside today? It rains. It has been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the des despondence within me. Well, here are some rules for you. Three humans have to die. And we have our normal five people. Okay, what do we have going on in the news? There's a lot of news. Downtown traffic disrupted in a massive pileup. Stunt performer urges people towards a healthier lifestyle. That's cool. The art of dying provides little in the way of sense, plot, and characters, but the action coordination and stunt work are excellent. Alright. Local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. All survived in a plane crash due to skillful air efforts of a pilot. Okay, cool. So, the pilot ended up saving people. And that guy is uh, helping people stay healthy. Cool. What does this do? Okay. I can just turn on and off the music if I want. Alright. I think this will be the last batch, and then we'll be good. So we got Yvette Fer Ferninda, 46, Minister. Yvette has taken upon themselves a great set of responsibilities in a field they lack knowledge of. Those decisions that matter, Yvette tends to fumble gloriously. Yet they do try to better themselves according to criticisms from the public, even though they don't often understand most of that either. Great. Thornton Oliver, 32, Bodyguard. Thornton loves bodies, that's why they became a bodyguard. Don't think that's how that works. They want nothing else in life but to protect bodies from harm. Frankly, it's a pretty honorable vocation. They recently become... They, re, they recently became... Yeah, that's uh... They recently became a guard for a very famous celebrity. When not at work, Thornton enjoys a lot of exercise. Okay. Uh... Tecumse Gold, 65, Professor. Tecumse is a renowned professor of mathematics who enjoys challenging their students with nigh unsolvable equations. It's the best way to force them into being more attentive and creative, they say. Lately, they've started tutoring a gifted janitor with a troubled past. Grim, I'm watching you. You should mark this profile to live. Interesting. That is very peculiar, but we'll check that guy off. Fiona Yao, 22, mathematician, another same profession. A sharp mind and quick wit have served Fiona well. They are a math expert in a popular science show. Making maths cool again and hoping no one notices their extensive tax fraud endeavors. All right. She's really young, but that's just how it is. Dejan Oladibo, 28, Petty Thief. Dejan needs to live to eat and steal to eat. Their spouse disapproves of Dejan's life choices and lets them know of it every time they are together. After a while, Dejan decided to lie to their spouse that they got a regular job. That's right, they decided to steal the truth. I'm gonna peace out there. And then, maybe her? I feel like she could make some uh, critically poor choices that would uh, affect a lot of people in the long run, considering she was what? Yeah, she's trying to work for a job where she doesn't really know how to do it. That's a bit scary. Uh, should I check these? Nothing. All right, well, let's go. Our final report for the day. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. 
I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. All right, got our last little payment there. We'll go to our room, see if anything maybe happens. And then we will call it there. I think this is an interesting game. I think it has uh, possibilities that we haven't quite seen yet, especially with Fate's little uh, twist there. So I think it'd be kind of cool to see what we'd have to look out for. But I'm going to leave it here. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments below. So thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for more.